Hey guys, Gary J here. We've got uh, two new Kylies here. And uh, Kylies were used originally by Aboriginal people. Uh, they were used to uh, kill or cripple animals until they could uh, spear the animal uh, and feed their family with it. And uh, these are sticks today. Uh, these are not the killing type sticks really. Their design is, but these are pretty light. They're more made uh, for playing games and things like that. But on these sticks right here, uh, they're made by Bob Farisi. Bob Farisi is a master of making Kylie sticks. And uh, he only uses the best wood with a natural curve in the limbs. And that gives it a lot of strength and support. Uh, keeps them from breaking and so forth. And the real trick to these things is uh, when you throw them, you have to uh, sand down the airfoils on them on the outside and on the bottom and on the inside and so forth. And that's a real art and a real technique that's very difficult uh, to master. And so it's a trial and error thing. And uh, no two sticks, no matter how similar they are, will throw exactly the same. So each one has to be hand um, tuned that way and sanding down the airfoils and getting it just right to throw uh, perfectly. And there can be a lot of work going into these. But uh, Bob uh, Farisi, the super guy, has been doing this, uh, I know, since I think since the 80s. So he has about three decades of work in this. Some beautiful wood uh, in this uh, Kylie here. And uh, it's not been stained or anything. It's got a wax uh, covering to it. Uh, just preserved the wood and so forth. And this one, uh, he said with about a quarter wind would go out about 150 yards with the right person throwing it, of course. But a beautiful work here on this maple. And this one right here is weighted, as you can tell, and uh, it's an excellent stick as well. And the stick is straight, and it, it and it bears off to the left, usually about a 35 degree angle. I think um, most collie makers would say there's not a lot of collie makers that I know of in the United States who have the quality of Bob Farisa. Uh, I'm sure there's a few out there, but there's not many. When you talk to people in the boomerang world and Kylie world, his name keeps coming up, and he's written num numerous articles on uh, Kylie's. So these are a real uh, treat to have, any kind of work from Bob Farisi. Uh, so if you get, you know, get a chance to uh, look him up, it's well worth it if you want something that's... Uh, really unique in uh, the world of Kylie's. Let's try this one. It's weighted. One, two, three. That was a good throw. Okay, we come up on her. She traveled 70 yards in a straight line. And uh, that's impressive. Anybody who plays with Kylie's know that they usually when you throw them, they're going to veer off to the right or to the left, depending on how you release them. So she threw beautifully. Remember, I was throwing it at 45, and as she's spinning and going out, you want a lot of spin on this. As she's going out, I'd say probably when she's got like 20 yards, she's starting to lay over flat. And then she goes out the rest of the distance, uh, say 40 yards, 50 yards, 60 yards flat. She doesn't tilt like that. She stays out flat. And that's really what you want. So that was actually a, a great throw. Released her well. And uh, she did exactly what I wanted her to do. And so that's that's awesome. We'll be throwing toward this tree right here. And the reason we're throwing toward the tree, not to hit it, to give you some idea of what direction we're throwing in. Okay, we about a 45 degree here. We got a little bit of crosswinds coming this way. Uh, we make a little bit of allowance for that. Okay, one, two, three. You know, 
she went pretty straight uh, toward that tree, veered off just a little bit, and that's just the way I held her and threw her. But that's still awesome. They're not curving like most of them do, just way off to the right or to the left. They're going straight. One, two, three. Whoa. Now I put it on her. Whew. And she went out to the edge of the line, almost to the tree, uh, the barren trees right there. I want to see how far she went. That's out there. Okay, here's our lighter one, weighted one, but so she does one, two, three. Oh. Wow, she went, she went the way I threw her. She went straight out toward this telephone pole and actually hit this, touched this telephone pole over here, bouncing off the ground. And that's a good ways out there. Okay guys, here's our Kylie. She's right up here by these trees we were throwing at. Actually, she's about, about 18 feet away. And uh, she really went the distance. Uh, I think that one's about 110, 112 yards. And uh, she went straight pretty much all the way. A little bit of curve, not much at all. So that was just an incredible uh, flight. Here's our other one. This is a weighted one, which actually the large one throws farther, but uh, the fence post right here. And this right here is about 106 yards. So she really, really went out well. That's just really awesome. I told Bob Farisi, I said, uh, when you, I want a Kylie, I want you to make me a Kylie that'll go 100 yards plus. And he has certainly delivered on that. Here's a target right here. I'm gonna throw it this. Let's try this one, just a little bit heavier. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh man, I hit that tree. That's what I was aiming at. But that's really not what you want to do with one of these. And that's only like, well, that's about 60 yards out. But, uh, she went, she went out and the wind's blowing, a crosswind, wind blowing, she came perfectly at it. I was really aiming at her too. I didn't throw her hard. That's one of the keys you got to learn about throwing Kylie's. If you try to manhandle them and throw them like Superman, they're not going to go the way you want them to. If you throw more graceful and slow and put your body into it and spin it, it goes a lot farther than you would realize that it would go. If you're real kind of graceful with it, with the throw. Okay, guys, here's my Kylie. Just picked it up. Here's a tree I just hit with. It. Now looking at it, uh, I don't see any damage to it at all. And uh, well, I learned you, know, you learn a couple of things from that. One, never underestimate Bob Farisi's. Uh, distance on these Kylie's. I threw that one light. I thought it should come just enough to hit that tree, but actually it went farther than I threw it. Um, and that was with a light throw. Uh, and uh, that's like 60 yards. But since uh, Mr. Farisi uses uh, only the best wood, the heart of the woods and so forth for the tree limbs and things like that, are kind of large uh, uh, limbs, you got the really hard, hard wood right here, which uh, that protected this one. Now, I won't be throwing at any more trees, I can tell you that, because this, this is such a jewel here. You don't want to, you don't want to break it or, or damage it. Well, you, all Kylie's are different, so what you have to do is experiment with them. Throw them at, at 1 o'clock, say this is 12 o'clock. You want to release them at 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock. And even at four o'clock, see how they see how they fly. And uh, once you know how they fly, say at four or five o'clock, 
3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I make, uh, uh, I write down the, the uh, flight path of them. I kind of draw it on, on the uh, release at 40, like in this case, the release at uh, 45 degrees, which is like 1.30 on the clock, and uh, whether it's stone level, what kind of wind, and I make a, a, a drawing of the path that it flew, and that way you can get pretty accurate with them. Bob Farisi's Kylie's two of them, one on top of the other. Kind of a unique design there, isn't it?